An important part of the motor examination is the assessment of tone. And when we think of hypertonicity, increased tone, there's two main divisions, one of spasticity and the other of rigidity. Spasticity, which usually reflects cortical spinal tract disease, is rate and force dependent, and at the very end of the range of motion, there's a giveaway. This has been referred to as the clasp knife phenomenon. It gets its name from the action of closing a pocket knife blade. As we initially put force on the pocket knife blade and try to close it, we have to put a lot of force, there's a lot of resistance. Right up until towards the end of the closing, where it just gives away and closes. That's the same type of giveaway phenomenon that we see in spasticity. Now this is opposed to rigidity. Rigidity is usually secondary or from basal ganglia disease. The rigidity is not rate or force dependent. It's constant throughout the range of motion. So it's oftentimes referred to as lead pipe or in modern terms, a plastic-like rigidity. It's kind of like this piece of plastic when I bend it back and forth. I have the same amount of resistance throughout the range of motion, and it's not really uh, force or rate dependent. That's what rigidity feels like, is that plastic-like resistance throughout the range of motion. 